Making new friends is hard, and it gets harder as you get older. As adults, we carefully court new friends. We try to learn a bit about them prior to spending time with them. And when we do spend time together, we carefully dance around each other, hoping to not offend, hoping to tell the right story, or more likely, to not tell the wrong story. My wife and I moved to Mobile 10 or 11 years ago. I'm from here and returned after being gone for 20 years. My wife had only visited and knew no one here other than my family. And while I had many old friends still here, none of them were waiting at the city limits to welcome me home. None of them had been bored for 20 years, hoping I'd return someday because they had nothing to do. When I returned, these old connections and I greeted one another with enthusiasm. But my wife and I had to make new friends. She and I had both done this before. I had to learn to make new friends when I went to college, and again when I left college and moved to Atlanta, and then to Raleigh, then on to Washington, D.C., and then again when I moved to Charlotte. Each stop along the way, I learned to reach out to neighbors and workplace colleagues. I joined volleyball and softball leagues. I volunteered at museums and chambers of commerce, all to make friends. It's hard. You're vulnerable to rejection. And in the process, you spend a lot of time alone. Now, in Mobile, an early decision my wife and I made, well, I made, my wife did not and still does not like this idea, was that we'd invite other couples out three times. Now, there are countless stories and parodies of couples dating. It's a regular theme on sitcoms. But three times was our strategy. If the other couple accepted all three, rejected all three, or some combination thereof, that was the end of our invitations. After that, it was over to them to reciprocate. We felt, no, I felt, that if they didn't ask us to do anything after three invitations, they only preferred getting invitations, or they already had all the friends they needed and weren't interested in investing themselves in new friends. Honestly, to me, it was a way to limit our exposure from looking desperate and lonely. And it worked. Today, we now have several groups of wonderful friends who are active, enjoy planning stuff, enjoy inviting others, and enjoy getting invited themselves. Those awkward times has led to some wonderful, fruitful friendships and some ridiculously fun trips with these people. It's been great. My wife and I are lucky. But I see some folks from time to time who appear to be only socializing with the same folks they knew back when they were kids. And while we all love stories of old friendships that have been placed since childhood, I wonder if they know the joy and excitement of making new friends and expanding their world a bit. I don't know. I should sit down and ask them someday, but not more than three times. I'm Cam Marston. I'm just trying to keep it real. To hear more of my Keeping It Real commentaries, Enter Keeping It Real with Cam Marston into your Facebook search bar or search for Keeping It Real with Cam Marston at your favorite podcast site.